Hello, I'm Jan Harker, one of the assistant principals at college, uh, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the curriculum offering available at college, that's academic subjects and more broadly. Essentially, if you quite like studying for your GCSEs and you think, I could do more of that approach but harder, then you should consider this college carefully. The vast majority of our students study a general academic program at level three, mainly A-levels, but also potentially one or two from nine applied subjects such as performing arts and criminology. These are assessed more by coursework than most A-levels. A few subjects such as business studies, law and sports science have two options available. Uh, are both at A level and applied. If you complete an application for college, you do not have to get this right at that time. It will be discussed at interview. A levels and applied generals are equivalent in size and are now linear two year courses with written exams taken at the end of the course. Most students choose three courses, although some choose to take four. With one of the biggest choice of sub choices of subjects in the country, you will have options to suit your interests and strengths. Our range of course options enable students to build a program to suit any existing career interests and to build their study program with one or more suitable extension options. For example, English language is available for aspiring journalists and students could choose from three periods in history to suit their interests. The extended project qualification is a popular option for students who are interested in doing a research project in a specific topic of interest. These can be in any subject and are well regarded by universities. This slide outlines further examples of extension options available to our students many providing further qualifications which strengthen applications to higher education or other progression routes after college. But are all extension options provide breadth and add valuable knowledge and skills? You may not, however, have clear ideas of a career at this point. In this case, consider taking a range of subjects which might well include one or more of your favourite uh, subjects at GCSE, but it's also good to consider one or two subjects that were not available to you at school as well. Again, your initial choices will be discussed at interview and may well be tweaked for a better programme to suit you, including with a suitable extension option. Our size allows all agreed subject options to be timetabled and we do not withdraw subjects due to lack of student take up. More detail about our EPQ options. EPQ students are supported by a supervisor, either a specialist in specific careers or subjects, or a tutor who is experienced in supporting a group of students, each working on projects with a different focus. Our EPQs run from April in year one through to autumn of year two. This is because students often come across a topic in one of their subjects they are studying they would like to find out more about. They can complete their research over the summer, then the project writes up as well before mock and final exams preparation becomes the priority. Students taking an EPQ develop the skills required for effective study at the university. The Advanced Foundation Programme is an alternative to the A-Level Programme for those students whose key GCSEs need to be improved before they can progress to Level 3 study, especially if English and or Maths GCSEs need to be retaken. But we don't dwell on this option at this point, rather assume that you will look to progress to the next academic level and and try your best. The Advanced Foundation Programme does have its own entry criteria, however, which will be outlined later. Each academic subject has a subject information sheet which details the subject content, 
and assessments and also the minimum entry criteria. Each subject has its own entry criteria, so it is important that you check this for the subjects that you wish to consider. And also, therefore, that you work hard towards achieving at least the minimum entry requirements in the relevant GCSEs. For example, in sciences and maths, if your heart is set on following a career in medicine or related. In addition, go to the college YouTube channel for videos on subjects and more general information. As the more preparation you do in advance of applying, the more realistic your initial subject choices will be. Again, our students build their own programme to suit their interests and possibly aspirations, starting with their A-level courses. With most subjects having multiple classes across different blocks, there will be no timetable clashes and impossible combinations of choices. This building approach and a good range of options available at college also results in all our students having different timetables. The alternative to an additional examined option is an additional study. And with around 70 course options available, we challenge our, our students not to find something of interest. These are one year courses, so students may swap to another second in the second year if they wish. For example, we run multiple options for engaging in sport, the arts and performing arts, and students can opt for any irrespective of the academic subjects they are taking. College also places a strong emphasis on pastoral care and career planning. So as at school, you will have a form tutor, um, a daily registration and a weekly tutorial. More about this later. This slide gives you some examples of our additional studies options. The additional studies booklet for this academic year is available on our website and the one for next year will be very, very similar. So you are encouraged to have a look before you come to interview because it's very helpful if you've looked at this first and are ready to discuss some options that might be of interest. We also have a number of options that may be of interest in our extracurricular programme. These are not timetabled weekly, but are run more occasionally. Some are included in this slide, but there are more again. So again, please do check through the additional studies booklet on our website for more information. You will see from the last slide and the further examples here, that college is a vibrant community and every year staff are delighted by the breadth and depth of student involvement in extracurricular activities. The Student College Council and its committee leads always work hard to drive improvements for the student body at college and to raise awareness of specific issues. And the work of the Charities Committee throughout the year is amazing. Also every year, groups of students get through area, regional and often to the national finals of various sporting and other competitions. So more about our tutorial programme. Our personal tutors are at the heart of college and work with their students to support their progress and welfare. This is similar to your experience in PHSE lessons at school but the, the materials and the topics that are covered in our tutorial programme are bespoke for uh, 16 to 19 year olds who are continuing academic general qualifications. The aim is to support your development as a young adult and to take greater responsibility for your learning decisions and actions over the time you're with us. Generic entry criteria apply to study the A-level pro uh, programme at college, including for three or four A-levels or applied general subjects. These are also detailed in our prospectus for 2021-22 on our website. Essentially, students need to have an academic profile that enables them to be able to access the courses at college with a strong probability of success. 
A-levels are significantly harder than GCSEs, and this must be borne in mind when considering subject choices. A reminder to note that individual subject entry criteria apply and the importance of potential GCSE grades in maths, sciences, written based sub subjects and where appropriate languages in some subjects. Strong skills are needed from the outset as level three courses are content heavy and require good baseline skills from the start. The skills required for the A-level programme assessments themselves will then be developed throughout the course. As previously mentioned, our Advanced Foundation programme has different entry criteria overall and again for each subject. Refer to our prospectus if this becomes an option after the release of this summer's results. We do set high expectations of our students at college and that they maintain a clear focus on success. We expect students to work hard and to get involved in the college and wider communities as well. This is in order that they make the most of the opportunities presented and to develop as maturing young adults so that in due course they are ready for their next steps. That's all from me in part two. I will pass over again in part three to Ian McNaughton, who will talk you through the application process and other general matters at college.